What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to dive into a how to rig it and this is one of my favorite techniques out there. It is a wacky worm. Well, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite, but I'm gonna tell you this one, it catches bass. So if you don't know how to rig a wacky worm, I'm gonna dive into a couple different ways, but ideally, um, sort of talk about rod setup, all of the goods that I, how I do it personally, I'm not saying it's the only way to do it, I'm not saying it's the perfect way to do it. I'm just saying it's the way I do it, so we're gonna dive into it right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need when you're trying to wacky rig a soft plastic or a worm, um, you're gonna need to select the right rod. Okay, general rule of thumb, I throw my seven foot medium action rod in lighter cover or like more of like if I'm trying to get a, underneath a boat dock or something where I'm like easy skipping, um, I'll throw that medium light because I can get it to those places a little bit more accurate. The issue is I do not have as much backbone. So my medium heavy actually has a little more backbone. So I will throw a medium heavy from a heavy cover or heavier cover, medium action. If I'm in trying to have that little bit of action to sort of skip up underneath there. Um, as far as line goes, if you guys know me, my eight pound suffix nano braid is the braid that I love. It works very well. It's, it's very good. And so that is what I personally choose to throw on most all of my spinning applications. And it just casts really well. It makes me feel like I can cast darn good when a lot of times I, I get out of sync and I'm not making the right cast. But anyway, so if it makes me cast good or feel like I can cast good, I'm sure it'll help you as well. It does take a little bit of time to like sort of get dialed in. And this is the thing that's sort of funny. Like I'm, I'm going to bring this up just real quick here because... Sometimes like we go in, like I see some people are like, man, like that's like awesome. You cast it up underneath that dot. It's so crazy. But you don't realize Brody edited it out the seven times I hit the pontoon. And that's what you have to understand. Like editing is a magical thing. Sometimes you can make it look great. I'm actually going to tell them, okay, just let it roll. That's raw. Like it's what you guys want to see. Like one of those videos, like the raw uncut or just casting. It's like, dwing, ding, dong. Like it's a little bit of that. So anyway, so back to wacky rig fishing. So we talked about rod, we talked about line, diving into what you're gonna need for rigging a wacky worm. Um, first, I would say some sort of plastic where you're going to like an O-ring, like this little, like, this little tool, like an O-ring tool. This is a VMC O-ring tool. It works well. Um, you're gonna need some O-rings. Um, and then your, or, which is something new, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do it both ways. These crossover pliers from VMC is, I'm gonna tell y'all, the deal, 1000%, it's awesome. It's truly, I mean, they've done a great job with this. I'm like really excited to show you this. If you've not already seen it, it's pretty bad with them. Okay, so then you have to pick, of course, the worm that you're going to use. Right here, I have five inch lunker logs. I got a couple different colors, you can tell. I got your green pumpkins. I got watermelon reds, I got black blues. I got, I have it all. Like, uh, maybe even some, oh yeah, green pumpkin blue. Yeah, got to have them. So, got a lot of different worms. Sorry, I just tap them right there. Got a lot of different worms, so we're going to dive into it right here. I'm going to go to the point of view, the point of view view. The point of view view is what I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay. Now, I'm going to do this, try this. Well, there we go. Pop me up right here in your bottom screen. So, what's up? I can still see you all. And so, real quick here, um, also you gotta select the hook. So I have a Nico hook, this is in the size number six, or a weedless Nico, depending on what cover you're fishing. So this is the thing, the weedless Nico, like you're not going to really come down to the point where you're gonna have like a weedless Nico hook or a weedless wacky hook completely. Like you can't throw it in the middle of trees and expect not to get hung up. This is just sort of like keeping it to where it's like if there's a little bit of grass, gonna keep it off your hook, like stuff like that. So don't get upset with that. I'll bring this out and pop him open real quick here for y'all to see. Let's see here, pop this guy right here. Actually, there's one right there. Sorry, I'm blind a little bit too. There's this guy. So I'll actually tweak him up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Move this guy over a little bit too. Pop. So I'll tweak him up and then I'll actually move it open. This is actually like, like a fluorocarbon or a mono. So you'll see like it sort of, sort of protects it. It's not gonna be perfect, 
So it's going to protect it. It's like one thing. And then ultimately, you do not want a too stiff of a weed guard because ultimately when that happens, it collapses. And you're going to, like, you're not going to, if it doesn't collapse, you're not going to hook them very well. So now from open water fishing, let me get this guy out. There we go. I'm going to select this guy. Open hook. No, with no weed guard. There's no reason to have a weed guard if you don't need it. So those are the two options right there. We have this guy right here. Let me open it up. This guy. So this is sort of like the crossover pliers. I'll show you guys right here. Boom. Crossover pliers. I'm going to cut these open with some other scissors. Man, they got some like, gosh, dang, they got some. This is like, man, some, some cardboard, man. I don't want nobody getting into these things. Like, dang, child proof. We look proof over here. It's like, okay, hold up. Okay. So I got these things right here. Show you right there. That's what they come in. And these come with like pre rings already in them. These are like six millimeters, which typically work for most worms. So, two different ways to rig it. Most people will be probably seeing this little deal right here. So, now, let me get the worm out. I'm going to pick one. I'm actually going to get a couple of them so that way you guys can see. There's a couple of melon reds. What a melon red. Okay. Let's scoot up a little bit here. Let me slide this guy. Hold up. Let me grab. Let me grab one. Hold up. Let me grab a couple. That guy right here. Let me grab a black and blue. Black and young. Put this guy down. Okay, so I picked a couple of different worms. I got this green pumpkin, blue, and then, of course, a black neon. So I'm going to show you guys real quick here how to do this. So you're going to tie your hook on um, to your rod your line actually not your rod that's not going to work you're going to tie it on to your line and you're ultimately going to if you it's whatever you personally like at the end of the day like if you like to throw normally a lighter line typically is what i use so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this little tube right here move it into there you'll see like i'm actually going to grab one of these o-rings i'm trying to get him down there you can see and i'm actually going to bring him down on top like that right there okay now so imagine this guy is getting i tend to put him like a little more centered but like about like that okay i i, I don't really like to be like truly centered so like right here i like to have like that positioning point like right there so i'll end up normally putting them rigging like that okay this is the thing your hook that that is how a lot of people rig their wacky worm now you can also rig him where you rig him like this. Now imagine that O-ring is not there. Now that is the best way to rig him if you can, but the issue is you're gonna lose a lot of your stick worm, Cinco's, lunker locks. That is the issue there, okay? So that is one way to rig a wacky worm, and, and you can do that, but I'm gonna grab one, I'm gonna grab this guy right here, I'm gonna show you how I do it with the crossover rings, and this is why I like this. So I'm gonna pick out one of these little deals. It's sort of a nice little place to put them right there, you know, like bop. You can buy these like pre, I think these already come in. They already come in those little packages. They're only like a handful. So like if you buy this, you gotta realize you gotta buy some like crossover rings as well. So I'm gonna put this on the crossover pliers and then I'm gonna go ahead and expand it. You pull, you push on it, it opens it up. So I'll just go this way and Okay, this is why for some of the technical, I'm gonna pop them off the dang pliers, like that right there. Okay, so this is what's so cool about this thing. So it has a little bit more uh, surface that it, so you can tell like it has a little bit better grasp on this. And you wanna make sure you get the right, the actual right millimeter like ring. This is, like I said, this is, it comes with a six millimeter over this guy that is just has this little small grass so it has like a little bit more of like a like a the distance of the worm now the cool thing about this dude is it has a little cavity right there where boom i have the best hookup ratio you possibly can get that is the way to go ideally you have this guy rigged up like that now the other thing cool about the crossover rings the crossover pliers is you can also if you're in 
a finesse fanatic. You could also Nico rig, and you could go along the channel of the worm, sort of very much so like this guy was right here. But then again, you have all hook. That is the key. So that is really the biggest thing when you are selecting um, and learning how to wacky rig. I, that picking out whether it's it's O ring, whether it's the crossover rings. Um, or you just want to rig it directly through the worm. The problem is, I don't care what plastic you throw, you're gonna make those casts and you're gonna choom, like everybody's made that cast and you fire out there and it just like, your, your dang lunker log goes flying up in the trees or it goes like, like fit lines through your deck because you broke it in half. It's like, it just happens, stick worms do that. So definitely recommend investing in one of the two. Um, like I said, these, I think the those other ones are a little bit more expensive i'm not exactly sure how much those are but anyway that's what i would recommend pick you a hook out i personally had really good luck with the nico hooks they are a little bit larger i don't think you're going to get like you're not going to get as many bites or anything i will sometimes actually go to like a smaller hook if i have to if the fish are really fickle say i'm seeing them like swim around and fire to them sometimes sight fishing i will shorten them up but overall that is the hook that i throw so wacky rigging can be a lot of fun you can catch a lot of big fish i mean i've caught a lot of big ones on a wacky rig in my, in my day. I've caught, caught a lot of big ones. So definitely a technique. If you do not fish a wacky worm, you definitely need to learn it. And this is sort of the start of it. Now, all you have to do is go out and catch one on it. Make sure to shoot me, tag me on social. If this tip helped you out, this rigging tip helped you guys out, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have. Hey, if, if it didn't, I'm sorry, I'm always trying to provide content for everybody. So if you're a little bit more on the advanced side and you already know all this stuff, you probably could teach me, I'm sure you could. And I'm, I'm here to listen, because I actually, seriously, this is the thing, okay? Realistically, we always have to like, humility is always great. And, and the thing is, I'm always eager to learn every day. So if you have a tip on what, maybe I didn't mention something here, drop it in the comment section below. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you at the next video.